Hello, my name is Herb Lawrence. I'm a host at CHGO. You see it right there. Ape is shirt. I didn't even do that on purpose, but you got lucky there. My favorite video game when I was a kid was a game called Bases Loaded. It's for the NES system. It was an enjoyable time because before this, I remember only times I playing a video game that was a baseball game was RBI, and you had to play that at the Pizza Hut down the street in Carroll Stream. So it was very rare. We'd go to Pizza Hut maybe once every six months. And once your table is ready, the game is over. Your parents are calling you to get to the table. But having the bases go to game at home was the best because at the time I was playing baseball in real life and crushing it and being an all-star, this game kind of simulated uh, baseball that I was playing because they were supposed to be adults in the game, but they were playing with an aluminum bat. And so that's the sound you would hear every time you connect with the ball wasn't that difficult to get a hit but you know randomness the randomness of the game would keep you enthralled on whether that's a single whether that's a double if you got it on the barrel or not they really didn't you know specify that it didn't seem like if you got it on the barrel it'd go farther it's just just depending on the player that was up if he was a powerful player that hit home runs and he connected with one he would hit a home run there and so it was just a fun time because i would play with my cousin marcus my uncles John and Cam, maybe Eugene Beard would come over, our friend, and we would just play all day long, have tournaments all day long. Now, they didn't have tournaments in the game built in. You would just have to write down the names and put it in tournament bracket and see who would advance to the next round, and then that person would have bragging rights when they would win the full tournament. Just right now, speaking of all this stuff, bringing back good memories, nostalgia, it's just feeling so good that I remember this stuff and how fun it was to just have time and experience with baseball games. And it was my first baseball game that I had at the house. And it's a thing that I do to this day, probably because of Bases Loaded and RBI leading the way for my baseball video game journey. So I still play MLB The Show like almost every day now. Now, there's no real character in these games. These are just nebulous, made-up characters that are in the bases loaded video game. And so there's nobody I can grasp onto. But in WWF Royal Rumble, there's a character called Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. He was a real wrestler. If you guys know that, he's a rest in peace, Mr. Perfect. But I played with his character every single time I would go to Galaxy World and play the Royal Rumble game. He was just so awesome, so smooth with it, and he would pin guys with the perfect flex and throw people all over the rope. I think that the character just fit my style so much. And so maybe I don't resemble him, maybe I don't think I'm him, but I try to be as cool as hell. When I when I drop my gum still, if I drop my gum out of my mouth, I try to smack it out and hit it off. And just like Kurt hitting Mr. Perfect all the time. As far as things that I wasn't perfect at, any first person shooter game, any one of them. Name them, Halo, I'm bad at it. Call of Duty, bad at it. GoldenEye, bad at it. Any of those games, I haven't even played Fortnite yet and I know I'm bad at it. So I would give these games a good proper try because they were very popular, still widely popular. I would start with the story and try to play through the story and get as far as I can. But I would get 30 minutes into the story or really get bored or killed so much that I would be like, I'm done with this game. And then I would give these games their online components a chance. So I would go online and then there's some 12 year old kid at the time and I was probably a teen or maybe in my early 20s playing these games like Halo and Call of Duty. And some 12 year old kids giving me grief, calling me a noob. I didn't know what that was at the time. Of course I know what it is now. Um, and all kinds of insults and cussing me out. I'm like, I ain't for this. And also, I was bad at the game. I wouldn't kill anybody when you know you get the rankings of what you did and how many kills you got. I'll be at the bottom with one maybe kill and like 17 deaths or some shit like that. Bad, terrible at those games. And then, like, I just didn't understand why I was so bad at them because I enjoyed, and I don't know if this is a first person shooter game, 
but I really enjoyed Grand Theft Auto. Like, I would get through Grand Theft Auto. The story, I never really went online, but I would get through the story pretty easily. It was a very enjoyable game. But if you call that a first-person shooter, that would be the exception. But I don't know if it is a first-person shooter, even though you shoot a lot in that game. I enjoyed that game. But as far as anything else, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Ecknerwall23. It's my last name, Lawrence, spelled backwards. E-C-N-E-R-W-A-L-2-3 for Rob Ventura. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. You can do a lot there. And uh, follow us on CHGO, CHGO underscore White Sox for our Twitter feed. Or just tune, on, tune in every post game for White Sox coverage, which we don't really talk about the game anymore because they're terrible, but thank you for joining us.